Aperture. Uh, welcome, James Mollison and John Ronson, to the opening of James's exhibition, Playground. Um, it's an amazing body of work in a, in a history of really strong pieces of work. It's about the world, it's about the diversity of people's experience. It's also underneath it all about something common that everybody uh, has shared, which is this experience of negotiating power in the playground. So I want to ask you guys, were you bullied or were you the bully? Oh, well, that's very easy for me to answer because I was, I, was, I was bullied. Which is why when I look at James's pictures, I, I just immediately spot the people being beaten up. Well, the, the pictures have all these narratives yeah. of the hierarchies, which is obviously something you were interested in. What was your place in the um, hierarchy of well, power I, I was Well, I was bullied, but I think I, I wouldn't mm. have called myself a bully, but I would maybe a tormentor. And you'll kind of never, you know, I kind of enjoyed the banter of the playground mm. and I wasn't aware of it, be, of being a bully, but I, I said this to John, I, I, there was a, there is a girl who said that, you know, that it did affect her, the kind of teasing that happened you, in the playground. She told, you, she told, she you told my sister and I didn't know, but only very recently. And you just thought it had been like banter? Yeah, for me it had been banter. It was kind of banter in the playground. So um, I wasn't a bully in the sense because I wasn't strong enough in the sense of somebody who went round beating up other boys because, you know, I, I wasn't strong enough. But I did enjoy kind of joking around and teasing. And you, you don't know, you know, I, for me it was, fu it was fun. Yeah. Um, did you enjoy your childhood despite that? Uh, not. <laughs> not hugely, no, because not not really. I, it was it was a bad time for me. I like my mother drove me pretty much on my 18th birthday. My mother drove me from Cardiff to London and dropped me off. And from that moment on, just everything turned great. But but no, I can't say my childhood was good. It was it was a lot of you know being thrown in lakes and being like you know punched and stripped it was it was bad i mean for the stuff. record i was hung upside down outside of a window by my ankles from the second floor on really? one occasion i mean it was like a brief Shit. moment of being like a turn of being uh -huh. it just occurs to me we're three brits in uh -huh. new york um yeah. uh, i mean the british experience i mean you, you had some pretty your observations about the British playground today of being particularly kind of feral, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, it was, wor it, no, I mean, there was an incredible universality that I saw throughout the playgrounds, especially with kind of young boys between that age of about kind of six to nine, where it didn't matter where I was, there was the same play, exactly the same play I saw. Um, so, but I saw in England, I just saw a kind of, a, I saw a kind of, maybe there was more of a kind of lippiness to me, kind of like coming into their space, which I didn't experience in other countries as much. You yeah. were treated as a guest everywhere but England. But in England I was tortured. seen, yeah, I was almost, you know, people would like kind of shoot footballs at me, try and knock me off my ladder, wobble my tripod, you know, yeah. and I didn't get that in other places. So if you had the choice now as to where you would go to school today, based on things you've observed, where would you like to go to school? Of all, the uh, of all these, I would go to Norway because I think what I liked about the Norway playground was like when I started the project I'd read about how you know handstands and cartwheels have been banned in some schools and in Norway they take this approach they have quite long breaks and they have areas where they like actively encourage the kids to kind of engage in the environment so tree climbing is encouraged and there's areas of trees and there's rocks for them to build camp so I thought that that you know I thought that the Norwegians had had great play spaces and they didn't kick your tripod no they didn't no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was no I was just gonna say that the one thing I think people should think when they look at James's photographs is that these are the experiences if James is capturing the experiences that last a lifetime that you know that mould you for a lifetime. Really close to where we're standing. Quite recently, I had breakfast with uh, the former New Jersey governor Jim McGreevy. Oh yeah. And he was t telling me about his you know bully childhood, and I was telling him a bit about mine. And I suddenly realised we were these two middle-aged men sitting in a cafe in Chelsea, both just a little bit. Like, like our childhoods just followed us both in through the door and because they follow us everywhere. Mm. So that's one of the things I find most, you know, wonderful and, and, and terrible about 
James's photographs is that you were watching really important moments and mm -hmm. at times including the one over there that I can say mm -hmm. you know these are kind of the, the, the English school where, the, where there's a fight going on mm -hmm. um, these you know these are molding people's brains yeah well you you write to that experience to James's pictures brilliantly in the book and um, thank you both thank you thank you tonight. cheers well.